What's up, everybody? It's your favorite core bot's favorite nerd. Today we are looking at Warbitron Scattershot. Um, just back from vacation. Uh, congratulations. You all made it through the Ares videos. I feel like you deserve little badges. But I want to shout out Joe KW once again for letting me look at those. And um, I'm back from the beach. I'm feeling rejuvenated. I'm feeling re-energized. And uh, I'm ready to go. So here we go. This guy comes with a ton of accessories. And uh, we'll start talking about them. So he comes with two of these little guns, and he holds them okay. Um, not perfect, but okay. I mean, like it looks perfect, but it's it's barely in there. You know, it's not it's not a firm grip. He comes with a big old sword, translucent sword. Um, well, we'll talk about this a bit later, but translucent with that <laughs> screw through it makes me very nervous he's got this handle here it's got silver paint on it which is a nice touch and holds it fine just fine and he comes with one big one and two smaller ones and it's sort of the same the same deal holds it fine and he comes with a big man pajama gun um, this has got some some accents on it so we'll talk about it some silver paint here Gunmetal gray there, gunmetal gray, translucent plastics, and then uh, silver gray here again, and then a different gray plastic here. We got this little silver ring, I mean gold ring painted around there, which looks great. Um, and not a hollow piece either, so that's cool. Uh, and then he can also hold it fairly well. It's not the cleanest hold, but it, it, it does stay with no problem. He actually grips this one, at least my figure, better than the smaller gun. And then we're going to talk about some pieces um, briefly now that we'll, we'll go into more detail later. These little nibbly bits, they're just a, uh, that gunmetal gray plastic. These two uh, die cast bits. Uh, combiner hands uh, with no wrist ports. Everyone calm down. I'm sure they'll be included with the next piece. They won't just not make them. Um, everybody just calm, calm down and relax. I know, I know that that's uh, challenging for some, but just take it easy, okay? This shield, um, I haven't really tried to see if he can hold it or yet. It does have this handle. We'll talk about it here in a, in a minute, but uh, mine's got a big paint chip there on the gunmetal gray, and, but otherwise it looks good. The gold's painted and, and the gunmetal gray's painted. And then two combiner feet. There's some die cast up in here, the silver bits down at the bottom, um, not this one. And it's good. It looks good. It looks like there's a tilt and a rocker. It's a hard joint, so I can't really manipulate it, but uh, it looks it looks, it looks looks promising. It looks promising to me. It gives me a good feels, if you know what I'm saying. And then this thing, which is its own kind of like battle station and whatever so it's 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 the nose cone for the for this for the starship or whatever it is but so these bits come off and then they turn into but there and i would imagine that he doesn't hold them all that well but we'll take a look because yeah well that's not too bad actually yeah, that's not too bad. I, I, I would draw my statement. Um, but he comes with two of those. And they pull off the side of the uh, nose cone there. And then you're left with this piece, which can extend like a Gatling gun. And these things can come over whichever way you want them. This way, or this way, or back collapsed, or, or whatever. And it's like a, a Gatling gun. But you just collapse this. And then you, and these also articulate, and then you can plug these back in here. And you've got your nose cone back ready to go. The head is on a ball joint, 
It's a, it's a, li it's fairly limited though due to the sculpt and the design. So you don't get much down, you don't get much up. You just pretty much get the side to side out of it, and that's a bummer. Light piping is in there and works like a champ. No problems there. No paint on the whole face. It's just the light piping to break it up on the blue bits. So that's that. Arms. You got a hinge that goes up. If you get the if you get himself out of the way of himself, you should be okay. Where that pin is on mine is damaged. You see it? It's right there. So that's an issue. I may send this one back. Uh, hinges up, swivels around, no ratchet, but uh, it's like a proper universal joint. It's fine. This was my own mistake here, so don't let that don't let that discourage you. It does it does pose a bit of a problem though. This backpack um, with his shoulder articulation, like you can see here. There's just there's not a lot of wiggle room, so when you start messing around, you know you might pop them off. Uh, bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, um, gets you shy at 90 degrees, which is a bummer. Um, there should be no reason why this figure shouldn't have that full range of motion there. That's dumb. Wrist swivel, fingers all on a single pin through the base knuckle, which I'm good with. Uh, silver paint, or like a maybe it's like a gunmetal gray. Either way, it looks great here, here, and there, and in the brown. Um, and that looks that looks all that really looks good. And then the silver here, really sharp paint. Uh, the torso itself is got a waist swivel, and then it's got tons of of color accents going on. The the gunmetal again, the gold, the red is a the red is a plastic, and then the white is painted on top. And you got translucent plastic underneath there, and there's a lot going on there color-wise, and I appreciate that. The back, I think, cleans up phenomenally well. I think that looks great. Um, and then if you want the wing open look, you can kind of do that too. So the world is your oyster, and that's the good news. Ratcheted universals for hips. Soft, it feels like a soft ratchet this way, hard ratchet this way. Um, the clicks are huge, so that's one of the problems with uh, these combiners is like just that, that range of motion, right? So it's, it's here if you want him standing straight up, and then his first A stance is all the way out there, you know, like you, you would want. You know, in a perfect world, you would want something a little bit more manageable. Uh, thigh swivel is just above the knee. you got gray paint up in there. The pelvis has this white plastic and red plastic to break that up. And silver paint on the back there for the combiner. And range of motion is good. No problems there. And we got a single jointed knee getting you 90 degrees, so no issues there. I'm good with that. Gold paint there. Looks great. Gunmetal gray there, gold there, gunmetal gray on the inside bits, gold there, Mer like a, that burgundy brown plastic. And let's see what else. And then the feet, we have that gunmetal gray there. And ankle rockers, no tilt, which is also a bummer. Um, but for me, if I had to pick between one or the other, uh, I always want the rocker. And I'll pass on the tilt. But... Um, this figure, this price point, should have had it, and it should have had double jointed elbows. So, let me make sure. No, because even if you turn it around, it still doesn't get you 90 degrees. So, that's unfortunate. Alright, we're going to transform. We're going to do this in a montage so that I can really pinpoint some things for you because there's some issues here due to tolerances. But the first thing you want to do is remove any excess stuff. So these wings, and by the way, they can put on the bottom here if you like them there. I like them on the back, but whatever, your preference. And then this piece unplugs, and the first time I did it, it was a nightmare, but as you can see, not too bad there. As for the arms, you want to, uh, let's see, open up these flaps here. And then take it so that the back of the hand faces you. There are pain to get out, just letting you know. Close those up. 
and move the make sure the head is straight move the shoulder up and then spin this so that this piece here will connect there and then slide them together and plug it in. That's a really poor tolerance. It just drew blood on me as you can tell. And it's uh I had to loosen it. I had to loosen it with like a just a slight turn of the screws here. But uh as you can see the plastic now doesn't fit as seamlessly. So just pointing it out. So real quick same on the other side. Open up here. Close in. Fold in. Close up. Make sure that this is all squared away. And then you want the this piece there. Let me try to do it off camera. Bring it down. Plug it in. Whew. Take this whole bit here, bring it down, and then you want to turn this whole piece around here. And then I'm not sure if it makes a difference, but the instructions have you doing it a quarter turn like this, I believe. I'm going to double check that. Um, but I think that's like that. So it, it ends up looking like this. Take the legs. You want to collapse them. And I can never tell if it's all the way. And that's another one of those tolerance things. Looks like this one's got a little bit more to go. Bring the legs all the way out at the ratchet to the side. My kids. All right. Like that. And then you want to take these feet and break them down. So that collapses up like this. This collapses up like that. And then both feet collapse back and down. Same on the other side. Good grief. There. These things here are pretty neat because they tab in and they keep the thighs together, but you have to kind of untab them and then I can't get them to tab back in properly usually, but um, to, to make this next bit work. So you have to spin the whole universal joint, which I don't think they tell you in the instructions, and then rotate here and that allows you to plug in. Easy for me to say. There. So same on the other side, spin this 180, keep that joint at 90 degrees for the most part. You might have to bring it up one click. Actually, no you don't. You just have to make sure that this is set at the right length. There plugged in good to go now uh, these bits here at the hips you just fold them out now this is where you're supposed to plug these gray bits back in I can't get them to go uh, whatever maybe if you mess with it a good bit you can um, I'm not that worried about it, it doesn't look that bad and uh, at the end you know this ends up being a lot more work uh, than you initially expected uh, so just prepare yourself fold that up fold that in and then uh, all that is pretty much good to go the the issue with this now this is how it is and there's a very interesting way they kinda went about it and it's a lot more involved than a Warbitron transformation but we've kinda seen that happening uh, but sometimes you expect that to pay off a little better you know and it's just like having having expectations you know sometimes you do things with a certain expectation and it doesn't always pay out because it wasn't necessarily the most thought out thing. And I feel like this isn't necessarily the most thought out in the same regard. You want me to do what? Dig a sandcastle. Help the kids. What am I supposed to do with this? Dig. Am I, am I building a sandcastle or am I fighting Nazis? Yeah, it took four hours, but I built it way up beach, so the 
waves will never take it away. Nothing will ever destroy this thing. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> then you want to add on your wings. Now that you got to this point, you just plug them into this port here. Same on the other side. And now this is pretty much done. And now you have to, to get everything else, kind of parts formed onto them, and we'll do that now. You take this, and you take this, and put them together, and they connect at like four places, so it's kind of, there you go. Now we just dress it up. So this goes back on top here. Like that, arm them up, bottom, put the hands in, this peg, this hole, this peg, this hole, and then you can put the big cannon <clears throat> on the side. And then build your stand. So now you want to make the stand. But you take this splice, splice, which is sort of like slide and split, which is what I was trying to say, except it's not said, nor pronounced, nor spelled the same, nor means the same. And then you take your swords. <clears throat> yes, I'd like to overpronounce the, the, the W. It's a kind of a Wu Tang joke, but it's, it's not a big deal. Fold these units back. Be very careful. Um, I'm not seeing any stress marks, but this is relatively thin, translucent plastic, um, which just means it's it's very scary. And slide these in, y'all, yeah. carefully. Take the bigger sword, S swords, and fold this back, and then. Wish that wasn't as tight as it is. I really do. Okay, now you take these little niblets that I pointed out before. Big one goes in the front. You know, I want to make sure. I don't think it matters. Well, I guess we'll see. Right? The little ones go in the back. And then you want to very carefully assemble this. <clears throat> Now, just for the sake of reviews, we're going to leave it like that. They're all lined up, but I just haven't pushed them in. And I'm not even sure if I feel comfortable pushing them in. But this does hold it just fine. Um, not the preferred method, I don't think. <laughs> but it is held together. It is impressive, like, size-wise. Like, there it is next to an MP car. You know, there is something to be said for just how gargantuan this thing is. Um... All the color and stuff looks good. I, I wish there was a way that this gun and the bottom gun could have gone on the sides and then this could have plugged in the center. I think that would have looked more menacing and I'm a sucker for symmetry. Um, there's just tons of stuff that just kind of plug in all over the place and it, it makes you feel um, relatively uncomfortable in um, manipulating it. Uh, just because you're afraid pieces are going to fall off. It's almost like this thing is a combiner in and of itself. And there's some way to manipulate into a battle station or whatever. I'm not interested in that. So if you get it, you can you can take a look at it. She's beautiful. I mean, it looks great. Uh, it It's just not the most efficient. And for size comparison, there he is with the rest of his compadres. And I got to say, that looks and feels really good. Must admit. And then I had to pull this guy out. I was just curious because this guy is huge. Um, there he is next to MP09. And that's pretty fantastic scale-wise. Final thoughts wise, I wish I could say this was all puppy dogs and rainbows, but it's definitely not. There's issues here. The big issues being tolerance. The tolerance issues are all across the board here. They're everywhere. They are extremely prevalent. 
the sliding mechanisms that Warbitron loves to use have the same problems they've had since their second release, which was Brawl. They're too tight, and then you loosen up the screw and the plastic doesn't fit right. Now, it doesn't sit right. Now, I'm sure after I slide it a few times and grind down that plastic, it'll be fine, but I shouldn't have to do that. That's a fit and finish issue. That's something they should have squared away from Jump Street. The transformation would be a lot of fun if everything worked, moved, and plugged in the way it's supposed to. And then lastly, the alt mode, while it looks striking and it looks cool and it's it's very awesome, like the finished product, getting there and all the, like, I'm not the anti-parts forming guy. I really don't care. If it works, it works. I grew up with Omega Supreme, so I don't care. If it works, it works. I'm good. The problem is there's so many things that plug in here and, they, and the tolerances are off once again. That things start falling apart, falling off, tabbing off, popping off as you're trying to put it all together, and it's just kind of a pain. There's plenty of positives, though. Both modes look great. The robot mode looks perfect to me, and then the, uh, the alt mode looks great as well. I don't have any com complaints about the aesthetics. One thing I didn't touch on and, and the negatives that I should touch on now is the articulation. You know, those elbows should have been there. That ankle tilt should have been there. There's no real excuse for that. It, it should have been there. I would say you can kind of cheat, but you have to unplug the bottom of the feet in order to, to do it, to get the tilt. But whatever. It should have been better engineered in that department. I still like this guy, and I still think he looks cool, and I still think he looks especially cool with the rest of them. This is another one of those things where I'm slightly concerned that the combined mode won't pay off, but even if it doesn't, I'm okay having these guys in robot mode. I know that sounds like a cop-out. I get it. I definitely can see that. However, I'm the type of guy that likes to have multiple representations of combiner teams so that I can display them in all the modes. So if this guy doesn't work out in combined mode, I know I've got my bot mode squared away because I kind of like the way they all look in the end. There's no shortage here of accessories. There's accessories all over the place. There's die cast here. There's good stuff. There's good stuff going on. There's a lot of thought. It's just, I think that if they didn't crank out Generation Toys Devastator and they didn't want to crank out this stunner concept that's based on the IDW, if they didn't have their fingers and toes and all these different pies, maybe they could focus on just one really clean, good combiner. And I'm not sure that they're going to do it again. I love Warbitron Bruticus, but it has its issues. It has its tolerance issues. It has its... Stress mark issues. Now, I will say with this set so far, I haven't had any stress marks. I've had some problems with tolerances creating grinds and cracks in plastic and stuff like that, but it hasn't been tolerance related. I just think that if they took their time, slowed down the taste, not try to put out three combiners at once or whatever they're trying to do, just get one really good one, um, they would really solidify themselves as being one of the top dogs in the game. But until then, it's going to seem like they're just not finishing it properly and that's an issue but i still like these guys i still recommend them you're definitely getting your bang for your buck he's huge both modes are great the transformation is there you just got to really work through it and there's tons of accessories to boot so i definitely recommend him i'm definitely happy with him i'm just letting you know he's not perfect don't expect perfection you won't get it but he is a pretty solid toy and he's a pretty fun toy he'd be much more fun if all the pieces work properly though don't forget i'll be at tfcon this weekend in charlotte i'll be shooting burn which is the sequel to solid unit saturday night i'll be in artist alley throughout the weekend come find me link up we'll get you in the video so that's it thanks for listening thanks for watching until next time take care